Hi everyone, this is Red Hill Eagle, and this is episode 2 of the World of Sport Wrestling TEW 2020 save, and it's also episode 2 of Unleashed. It's week 2 of August 2016, so let's get straight into it. So we start off with an announcement from the commentary team, uh, Greg Lambert and Steve Carino. They hype the main event, and they also announced that the contract match from last week, which ended in a draw, will be rematched tonight. So it's not a case of both get a contract or both don't get a contract. There will be a rematch tonight. And that's between John Hennigan and Zack Sabre Jr. I did forget last week that I didn't give you any of the ratings or any of the blurb. Um, I think I'm so kind of caught up in really trying to be creative this time, I just completely ignored the ratings. So this one got a 37. Next up, Andy Baker takes on Doug Williams, and Doug Williams is out to prove himself, prove that he can still do it, and he gets a victory here in 6 minutes 58 via a pinfall, and a rating of 46, not too bad. And then Styx takes on BT Gun, with Styx getting the victory in 5 minutes 43 via a pinfall, a rating of 24. And then Jackie Polo interviews Nick Aldis with his bodyguard, Barry Griffiths. And uh, Nick Aldis is just saying that, you know, he's here to put the rest of the roster to shame. No one here is on my level. No one in this company, you know, can compete with the likes of me. You know, maybe one or two are close, but uh, they're not on my level and I'm here to prove it. So uh, the arrogance of Nick Aldis, um, but he does need a bodyguard. Rated a 35 on that one. Absolute Andy takes on The Rage, and The Rage gets the victory. And my voice went up there because a rating of 40 is actually really good if you knew that The Rage was unimportant and Absolute Andy was only recognisable. When I planned this out, before I knew anyone's perception levels, I thought they'd be the other way around. Um, but 40 is not bad. Quite, quite pleased with that one. And then uh, Messiah Hallberg uh, then introduces a news segment and he cuts to promos from James Mason, Shah Samuels and Andy Simmons. And it's a promo on tonight's main event because there are three of the competitors and they're just obviously, all three of them are talking about how they're going to win it. And it's a rating of 30. Lionheart then takes on T-Bone and rating of 49 is pretty good. Um, both of these uh, gimmicks got great and I'm particularly pleased with T-Bone's gimmick because he's a pub landlord and uh, very, very British kind of gimmick there. But yep, uh, T-Bone got the victory in 8 minutes 33 uh, via a pinfall um, following a full Nelson slam. But 49, pretty decent. Madman Manson then interviews Mark Haskins and it's just a, a self-promo but what's interesting is Mark Haskins appeared to be talking to an invisible man next to him. Um, interacting, not just talking to, but answering as well, and very much interacting with um, what appears to be an imaginary friend. Um, but rating a 40, not too shabby. Just actually having a look at the, uh, yeah, the imaginary friend gimmick got great. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that one. It's over with the fans. John Hennigan takes on Zack Sabre. This is the rematch of the uh, contract match. And this is also a draw. This also hit the time limit on 20 minutes. Um, also worth noting in this particular match is that uh, Greg Burridge was at ringside just watching. He just came along. He pulled up a chair and he sat down and he started watching and he was he was getting very excited. There was a, a move and, and he, he jumped up and... Wow, look at that. And he was saying to the fans, wow, look, did you see that? Did you see what Hennigan just did? That? Wow, Sabre, did you just see that move? That Sabre very excited, very much into the match. Seemed to enjoy it a lot more than, uh, well, the fans who paid. Um, rating of 58, very pleased with that one. I think I've made a good choice here making a, a storyline out of these two. But another draw. So what's going to happen next? Uh, Messiah Hallberg then interviews, or sorry, he doesn't interview, but he cuts to interviews from Boris Fedorov, Jack Jester and Rampage Brown, the other half of tonight's main event for the world title. 
um, it's a rating of 36. And then the main event. Boris Fedorov gets the win after his manager interfered. So Katie Lees had to interfere to give her client the victory. Uh, the match ended in 15 minutes and 55 seconds. It says here the order of elimination was, but I can tell you to ignore that because the order of elimination was Mason beating Jack Jester, Shah Samuels beat Rampage Brown, Andy Simmons beat Samuels, um, because Yeston Reese distracted Samuels. Obviously, he's annoyed that he got cheated out of his uh, shot in this match himself. Fedorov uh, then beat Andy Simmons, and then Fedorov beat Mason. That's the final elimination. So Fedorov, despite having a helping hand from his manager, keeps the World of Sport World Championship. Post-match, Doug Williams comes out and he cuts a promo on Fedorov. He vows to take the title from him. You're not a real champion. You needed help. Of all things, you've asked your manager to, to help you, to distract your opponents, to trip your opponents, to smack your opponents when the ref wasn't looking. You're not a champion. I'm going to take that gold from you. So, end of the show. Where do we go? 37 overall. Um, increase our popularity again. Yeah, I must sort those things out. It's one of those things that's not high up on my list. As I say, I'm kind of concentrating, for the first time ever, concentrating you know, much more on the creative than the actual game in the game. So, But I realise I probably should just um, up those a little bit. But an overall rating of 37. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Please put a like and subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments below if there's uh, anything you want to uh, you know, talk to me about, comment on, give me advice about, and that'll be great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.